ladies first. <laughs> How you doing? Um, just the excitement, I guess, and what you're looking forward to with the opportunity. Uh, just excited, number one. Uh, number two, just to be a part of this franchise and have this opportunity to play with this group of guys and actually play for something is, uh, you know, something that don't come around often. You know, I've been in the league 14 years, and, uh, you know, something like this is, is really special in my eyes and in this point of my career, so I'm super excited. How much have you been keeping an eye, I guess, in, in terms of your ability? Yeah, um, I mean, we're going to see. You know, I'm just going to come in and be myself, how I always played in the league. Um, I played for Frank before, so I know what he kind of expects on offense and, and defense. And uh, it's going to be different playing with guys like LeBron. And I played with West, with Russ before in uh, OKC, so um, I'm familiar with him. Just uh, trying to fit in and, and just play play the way I always played. Uh, hey, DJ, Kyle Gillen from the Orange County Register. Um, you mentioned played for Frank before, wondering what the, the first kind of meeting here was mm -hmm. like um, since you guys know each other pretty well and and um, you know did was there any communication before you were able to sign was it was it just sort of did it affect your decision one way or another that Frank is here uh so you know first seeing Frank it was great to see him a familiar face somebody I, I played with two times uh, Indiana and uh, Orlando uh, so that was good you know our families know each other um, and then number two everything happened so fast man um, I got the call on Monday. And uh, I was out. Of, I was out of Houston on Tuesday. Here, coming on my way here. So it just happened so fast. I didn't get a chance to speak with him before. He texted me on my way here, and uh, that's that's all. It's pretty pretty much been. But just to see him and even some of the assistants, I played with them in Orlando as well. So it's, it's been great. DJ uh, Dan Wakey with the Los Angeles Times. Um, being a guy who's been so many different places in the league, has that helped you kind of quickly integrate in a new? environments and stuff and you've gotten better at it over the, over the course of your career? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, you know, um, people don't understand, fans and the people on the outside don't understand how hard it, how hard it is for guys to, uh, you know, if it's a trade or whatever it is, to go to different teams, meet different teammates, new staff members, learn the city, how to get to the airport, all those, those little things that you don't think about. Um, I've done it so many times, so I feel like it has prepared me for, for, for this moment, um, having to come here so quick and and uh, just fit in with these guys. As far as on the court, I mean, these guys are really smart. So me fitting in on the court, I don't think it will be too hard. Um, just playing the right way and making the right plays, that's all you have to do. Hey, DJ, I'm David Penner with ESPN. Um, what's been your view of this Lakers team from the outside this year? I'm going to be honest, I, I, I really haven't even – I've heard stuff like on social media and stuff like that, but I really haven't paid attention. I was with the Rockets. Um, um, just trying to help them, help the young guys over there, play my role with the Rockets. And uh, that's all I really focused on. Um, just, just to be honest, I, I really don't know what's been really going on. Uh, I know they haven't been, um, you know, playing up to everybody's expectations, I would say, you know, but it's the NBA and, and you know, things happen, but we're still in, a, still in a good position where we can still have a chance. And that's all you need in this league is a chance. And, uh, you know, with guys like LeBron and, and Russ and even AD when he's healthy, you know, uh, this team has a lot of good good guys on the team. I think it was like what, 48 hours ago or so that, that the news broke that you'd be coming. Um, can you tell us like where you were, how you found out, um, <laughs> how, how that went? Yeah, I was actually on, on my way to pick my kids up from school <laughs> in Houston. Um, you know, I, I got waived by the Rockets uh, at the deadline, and uh, I just been home just training and being a dad. You know, um, you know, I don't I don't get that opportunity in my last 14 years to just be home and be with my kids and. Uh, they loved it. I loved it. But um, when this opportunity came, I just couldn't pass it up. Your agent called, or yeah, my agent called me. Yep. Any more questions for DJ? DJ, uh, Bill Warren with the Athletic. I'm, I'm wondering, kind of along with what David was asking about your perspective, perception of this of this team. But in the summer when this team came together, I'm wondering what you know as you're watching free agency and everything kind of unfold. And I'm, I'm just curious what your perspective perspective was as this team came together and what you kind of expected from it um, when you saw all these guys that you've been playing against and probably some guys with yeah. over the last 15 years. Yeah, I mean, just like just like the fans, man, you know, as players, we see all these signings and, and things like that in the summertime. And, you know, we was like, whoa, you know, the Lakers, are, are, they're loaded, you know, um, championship team. So um, uh, obviously that's what, you know, what you see, you know, and, and there's been a lot of trades over the, over the deadline, you know, that uh, – you know, a lot of teams got better. Um, and you're looking at them like, wow, this team is, is, is better now. But when it comes to winning a championship, um, it's just who plays the best in those moments, who plays the best in the playoffs. 
And uh, it doesn't really matter who's on your team, who comes together at the right time and, and plays the right way. That's, that's what builds championships. Uh, Christos on Zoom. Hey, DJ, hope you're doing well. How you approach this new challenge for you personally? And from what you see on, about the team, what this team needs to improve, what this team needs to lift on, on both ends of the floor to be back on the winning column and be back uh, in a competitive way? Um, I, I just think, you know, um, just going out playing hard every night. You know, every night you have an opportunity to win. Um, the Western Conference is, is, is the, probably the hardest conference in the NBA. Um, so that's what I see. I see just us just keeping our heads up, um, going out there every night, not giving up, and uh, just trying to win every single, every single game. That's all we can do at this point. Dan, you had a follow-up? Yeah, DJ, to kind of follow up what Dave was saying. So I'm just curious, like, what's the – like, what's the – like, how furious of, like, throwing stuff into a bag is it to get here? <laughs> and, and is it helpful that, you know, in a, in a week – You'll be back in Houston to kind yeah. of clean tie-ups and loose ends and stuff like For that. sure. Um, you know, I didn't even know what to, what to pack. It happened so fast. Um, I, I just threw anything in a bag. I was just like, I'll just, as bad as this sounds, I'm, I'm just going to buy some new stuff when I get there, kind of. That's how, <laughs> that's how I looked at it because it happened so fast. And uh, like I said, I was going to pick my kids up from school. Just being a dad, just not even thinking about going back and play basketball right away. So, um um, yeah, man, I just, you know, it happened so quick. I'm, I'm, I think I'm prepared for the next week or so. And then, like you said, we go back to Houston. I'll be able to, you know, finish up some things and, and kind of get organized. And um, it won't be so overwhelming at that point. Uh, also, couldn't help but notice you're wearing Kobe's today. <laughs> yeah. Today work. I'm assuming that was intentional. And, and just uh, does, you know, playing for the Lakers, um, you know, a lot of guys come here and say, you know, I've followed the history for a long time. Does that – Strike you in any kind of way of coming in this building? For sure. Um, that's like I said. Um, first of all, the shoes. I, this is my favorite shoe. I've been playing in this even with the Rockets. I had I wore these. Um, so and they're hard to get now. So got to hold on to them. Um, but as far as uh, um, what was your second your second question? Yeah, just just your reaction playing for the Lakers. Right. Um, yeah. Just like I said, when I, I I had a few other teams calling me, but at that time I, I just mentally wasn't into going right back into playing. Um, but then when the Lakers called, like I said, just, you know, you think about the history, you think about the championships, you think about Kobe, Magic, all those guys. I, I know I'm leaving so many guys out, even, you know, LeBron, what he's done since he's been here. You can't pass up on opportunities like that as an NBA player. Um, and I, I would have regretted looking back on my career, not taking this opportunity, no matter what comes from it. Um, I just felt like I would have regret not jumping on that opportunity. So. So the shoes were something you packed. Definitely, I packed these and the white, the white pair. <laughs> uh, I packed those. Yeah. Uh, just uh, so background, if we mentioned the the scene of you driving your kids, how many kids you have? And I have their ages and names. And yeah, I have four kids. Um, Kaylee's my oldest. That's my daughter. She's nine. I have uh, Trey. He's he he'll be eight soon. Um, that's my that's my oldest son. I have my youngest son Chase. He's five, and I have a one year old. She just turned one last week so i was able to be at her birthday party you know um my baby girl tori so i have four kids and uh i was actually on the phone with my agent as they were getting in the car i was kind of like y'all this is important you know <laughs> so uh it just happened so fast man like i just couldn't even think packing i didn't even know you know that was the last thing in my mind just you know even asking my wife you know what did she think we should do um thinking about taking the kids out of school what are we gonna do you know it just happened so fast they stayed back um, just because of, you know, the amount of games left. Um, it just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be fair for, to take the kids out of school at this point. But they'll be back and forth, you know, to, to L.A. All good. Uh, can I have one? Sure. Uh, you, know, you mentioned you played with Ross before. What, what, you know, what are you looking forward to in terms of getting a partner, new partnership with them in L.A. right now? And what kind of conversation you have had with them since, since you joined here? Yeah, I love Russ, man. We've, you know, we played together in OKC. Um, great guy. Great basketball player, um, you know. Uh, we've we've been in touch ever since then, and uh, just seeing him, another familiar face. I was excited to see, and uh, you know, just kind of picked up where we left off in OKC, um, and just try to help, you know, with him, with this team, whatever I can do, whatever they need me to do, I'm here.